no, Ben is trying to steal the X17. <laughs> Bienvenidos a un nuevo episodio de Board to Tune. Así que, ¿estás preparado para lo que viene? Ven conmigo y acompáñame. Tú me sacas. Vale, vale, bueno, bueno, vale. Ah, ok, yo tío. Hi, Tuners. Has anybody seen Benny? Today we're going to discuss about automatic transmissions. I have no idea where it is. Oh, Benny. Got a rough night? Yeah, next time choose an automatic car, eh? Okay, before proceeding, we should actually understand what are the difference between an automatic and a manual transmission. Uh, but let's go to class for this. But before going, don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell for notification. So today we are going to talk about gearboxes. In particular, we can divide the gearboxes into two different categories, manual and automatic. Today, more than ever, automatic transmissions are very common, even if some countries they've always been. So how the automatic transmission works? From the beginning, the first automatic transmission was invented in 1921 by a Canadian steam engineer, Halfred Horner Munro. But only in 1948, the first automobile was fitted with automatic transmission on the Holtzmobile. The automatic transmission can automatically change the gears as the vehicle moves, meaning that the driver does not have to shift gears manually. Basically, there are three types of automatic transmission today. An automatic with torque converter, double clutch automatic transmission, and automated manual transmission. But let's talk about what interests us closely. An automatic gearbox needs a TCU to work correctly. TCU means transmission control unit and indicates the module that manages and controls the mechanical part of the gearbox. The heart of a modern automatic transmission is the mechanical control unit, which is a set of solenoid, valves and electronics that make the entire transmission work. So, the TCU receives some inputs from the car ECUs, like for example, how fast we're going, what are the revs, uh, how much is the accelerator pressed, and then selects the right gear. Now, regarding the actual chips, there are so many types of TCUs. As you can see, it really depends. The most common are the ones like the 8HP or 6HP that mount on BMWs or VAGs. These ones have the mechatronics mounted on the actual TCUs. So you see that the solenoids are here and move the gear physically from here. Now, as everything else, sizes are getting smaller and new technologies are being implemented. I think now Benny cleared his mind, so let's go back to the workshop. Okay, we can definitely proceed to the TCU modification. Benny, get back together and let's do TCU tuning, please. So the TCU works together with the ECU on a vehicle, sending and receiving information to make it work. So, in this case, we have few advantages of modifying the ECU. So, for example, in the case of uh, a performance tuning, the TCU has to be has to be modified because the torque limiter is going to cut the power. So, if you don't modify the TCU, the remapping of the ECU will not work. So we can mention some of the main values of the TCUs that could be shift speeds, torque limiters, hydraulic pressure, shift points and, and some of the more evolved ECUs like launch control, a full manual, kick mode and many more. Okay Benny, let's get to work. Yeah? Okay Benny did me.
Woods. Oh. What's up? Oh, it's Benny. Benny? Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. Alright, I'll see you at the workshop. Yeah, five minutes, I'm being gonna be there. I'll see you later. Eh? Come on, Benny, you got a lot of work, now you're the remapping king. Yeah, that's a lot of requests. <laughs> yeah, I think you need a hand. Uh, I know who we can talk to. Let me get back to you. All right, all right, awesome, awesome. Okay, I'll see you soon. All right, thank you. You remember Darius? Your student? Now is a TCU's expert. He's definitely better than you. He's coming. Hello, guys. Hello, Master Benny. Okay, let's choose a nice TCU between the ones you received in your request, okay? Okay, let's go for the 8 HP. So, upload the file. We remove a bunch of torque limiters. Most of them work with temperature. So, removing them means that even if the temperature increases, the TCU will not cut the power. So, no limiters are there anymore, but we don't care, because we'll do a proper track-ready beast. Now, let's go to the oil pressure. We increase the pressure of the clutches, so we avoid any slippings, even with higher power. We increase the average percentage of the map of, let's say, 8%. If you increase it too much, the clutches will stuck. And you will grate some parmesan. Gear shifting times. This is the time within the gear measured in milliseconds. So we reduce this of 10% and we copy the same thing on other gears. There's a fine line between a quick shift and the wrong one. Okay, this one here is a torque reduction in gear changes. During gear changes, the slipping of the torque is reduced to avoid losing power. We don't want that. We got enough juice and also we have a higher hold pressure on the clutches. So let's increase it of 3%. Clutch parameters. This is the target when the clutch enters into function. Filling time reduced. So that is the impulse of the actuators. We can reduce it a bit. So this is how you tune a truck-ready automatic gearbox. Okay, I'm done. It was nice to play with you. Thank you for your service. Yeah, this was one service. Now to finish all your requests, it will take you ages. Yeah, I think it's better let him sleep for now. If you'd like to check the products that Benny is using, check out the descriptions. Have a look at her other episodes and see you at the next modification.